I, I, just, I always end up getting I just, just like the whole thing. Like, I get you know, socks sex. and underwear usually for Christmas. No, you're just talking over me. Well, I'm just saying. I just That's like the question. Okay. Come on, talk. No, I know you. Okay, well, we're not recording, right? Okay. <clears throat> and the question is, what is your nativity tr uh, scene tradition? Okay. Where do you put it? Did you play with it as a child? Is there something special about the one you see, use? That's a tough question. What is your nativity scene tradition? I'll be honest, um, we don't actually have one. Oh, you just took my answer. Like, well, we always have a nativity scene, but any sort of tradition related to it, it just sort of came out when we did a Christmas tree. My That's parents what? are in an ever search for, a new search for a better nativity scene. They haven't bought one yet, but they want to get a good one. So you're always searching for one? Like searching they for are searching one. I just don't like this, the whole idea behind it. Oh, really? Why is that? I just want a tree. So you, you, you like the tree, but not the nativity? Yeah. I just want a tree, a secular tree. Uh, okay, God, God, that was bad. I couldn't <laughs> say secular. I couldn't say secular. Well, one of the things that I remember as a kid with the nativity scene was that we would grab it and hide the baby Jesus, right? So Why would you do that? Well, because it was just a thing to do. My mom would go through all the trouble of putting a really nice nativity scene out and it was always fun to watch her face when she would come home and realize that the baby Jesus is gone. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Anyways, fond <laughs> memory.